Yeah, scary stuff. Attention. And successful from the Netherlands so far. But let's concentrate now on this Prince of Wales Challenge Cup race. Off they go. And uh, the run to the shot there. Stretch of water so well, won't they? And the club. Yeah, and some of these guys, you know, obviously they all train here all year round. They've won this event in the past numerous times. It's be kind of become Leander's event, really. Um, they've won it, I think, seven of the last eight years. So it's, it's a pretty impressive tally they have. Um, and these coaches, this crew is coached by Ali Brown. And yesterday, they set the course record. So, you know, a lot of speed there, but we don't really know much about the Dutch crew, so it's going to be interesting to see how Leander coped with it. One of those successes that Mark just mentioned coming last year for Leander Club and the Prince of Wales. The Dutch crew has gone off like a rocket there, straight out of the blocks. Yeah, it's not a subtle game plan, but it could be very effective, trying to burn off Leander early. And it'll be interesting to see the reaction that Leander produce here. How will they respond? And I'll be presuming that the Dutch can't keep up that tempo. That is a huge margin that early in a quad, unless there's something not right in the Leander boat. It looks on the first sight of it. They look fine. Yeah. yeah. Has the Dutch crew gone off too hard? That's a question. What they we, well, I'm sure the Leander boys need to be asking them at halfway. They need to stay in contact and trying to put them under pressure. It's all about putting people under pressure at Henley. One on one racing. You're trying to crack the other crew as early as possible. And Leander have a challenge here to stay in contact and to keep pressure on the Dutch boat. Mark oh, says, got an absolute flyer away from Temple Island. And they're actually extending that yeah, lead, if anything. They are not slowing down. They are still moving out. And it's going to be really interesting to see how the Leanna crew deal with that pressure now, being behind, not being able to see their competitors beside them, because you, know, you want to feed off the energy of the other boat. Well, the Leander boat, in case you're doubting the experience, all four of them involved in the final last year, Law and Joel in the winning Leander A crew and Wake Roberts and Stevens in the B crew. Law and Joel also in the unusual position of having won the Queen Mother Challenge Cup before winning the Prince of Wales, which is a fairly unique double. I think that was the Olympic year, they were kind of bumped up to the event. And, um, yeah, to win that event is huge. <laughs> it's a club athlete to have, be able to win an international uh, that standard. Well, we'll see what they're made of now, won't we? This is a very interesting second half of the race coming up. They have managed to rein them back in a little bit, Leander, in the last few hundred metres, but it's very, very much the uh, Netherlands race to lose. It's going to be interesting as a country fall, which is the halfway mark, to see where they are. They need to be in contact, so if they're not in contact, it's going to be a very lonely second half of the course. They've equaled the record time to the barrier, the Dutch. And you would not be surprised by that. No, no the speed they went out there, they were definitely going out for a record or to put an early marker down and leave that Leander in their wake is what they're doing right now. They've got three lengths there, clear water. You don't normally see a crew come back from that distance. When you say in contact, you're not meaning that the boat has to overlap as no clear water, you're just meaning in their eye line very much in the race yeah in the peripherals they can see the other crew they can sense them when you're racing you can always feel the boat beside you it's, it's a it's a strange kind of sixth sense i'm going to call it that and if you can't actually see them you can feel them you know they're there you can you can hear them you can hear them hurting you can hear the puddles but when you're this far behind you're kind of out of contact completely well this is going to take something pretty spectacular from leander to turn this race around Seeming they went out yesterday and broke the course record in the quarter-final, had they expended too much by doing that, that they needed to use today to keep, keep pace of this Dutch crew. Not just about managing individual races, but these lengthy regattas where there's so many entries, it's about managing your way through the whole week, isn't it? Yeah, you've got, you've got to be savvy, smart. You know, you've got to utilise what you have. Obviously, you're racing over potentially five days. It's not kind of wasting energy, it's conserving energy, so you, you want to improve as you go through the regatta. You don't want to come to an event like this and have your best race in your opening round and get worse and then not make it to the final. You want to keep improving as you're going through the regatta. Well, they're only young in the Leander boat. Two of them are 21 years of age, Rowan Law and Ollie Stevens. 
they'll be learning plenty. Yeah, they, but they, the hard way. They would not be enjoying this experience, not with the kind of caliber they've had. They've won this event before. But this is an impressive row from the Dutch crew. They have not slowed it. They are just tanking along there. Well, and you wonder whether that will cost them tomorrow because they are almost unnecessarily far out in the lead, aren't they? It's been so impressive from the Dutch. But sometimes when you're in a rhythm, you don't want to come out of it. So no. if, if you are in a fast rhythm, you're enjoying it. You know, it's going so well, it's smooth. You don't, you don't really feel like you're working even though you are and you won't know how hard you work till you stopped and your body goes bang you know that's what happens well let's hope it goes bang on monday rather than on sunday morning for the dutch yeah momentum's a great thing in sports isn't it they'll have confidence and they'll feel they can bounce back tomorrow fresh and with a spring in their step but that has been a hugely impressive performance and you think they've got all day to recover because they've raced early today. Yeah, true. You know, they've got at least 24 hours for they're going to have to hit the water again to actually come out and compete. So lots of recovery time. So, you know, they can go out and kind of exert themselves as they've done in this particular race. So Francis Stewart, skull of the Netherlands. The lead has been reduced, but Leander never in the race, in truth. They flew out the start. And they've held that lead all the way. And that's one of the more impressive victories we'll be seeing today. Coming in the second race, the Prince of Wales Challenge Cup. Skull of the Netherlands beating the Ander Club. Very impressive. Painful for the Ander Oldsman there. Did not see that coming. On no. paper, that didn't look like it was going to happen like that at all. It does just demonstrate the importance of getting a fast start, doesn't it? Yeah. Because mentally, if you're up, not only is it an advantage to you, but it's also a real downer for the boat you're racing against. And we'll have a look again in a moment at the start and how they got out so quickly. The Dutch, bang, right from the off. Look at the tempo, look they at the just, power. They were out, you know, so early on. Very dynamic, explosive, and just flew out of the blocks and didn't give Leander a second chance. And they maintained it, didn't they, all the way down the track, which is uh, the big question you put earlier. All about that.